Only qualified personnel should service and install HVAC appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This video will demonstrate how to check the gas pressures on a residential furnace. When you arrive to the customer's home, locate the existing furnace and remove the top service door. Once open, locate the gas valve inside the furnace and the shutoff valve on the gas piping, leading to the furnace. Next, locate your manometer and reset it so it reads zero inches water column. Then, turn off the gas supply to the furnace using the shutoff. When checking gas pressures, ensure that all gas appliances on the same line are turned on and set to high fire. This ensures the furnace will receive the correct gas pressure, regardless of the other appliances in the home. Turn your attention back to the gas valve inside the furnace and identify the inlet and outlet ports. Using an Allen key, loosen the inside of the inlet valve about half a turn and connect the gas valve adapter to the inlet and manometer. Turn on the gas supply to the furnace and check the inlet pressure. Write this value down and turn on the furnace to check the operating pressure. The inlet pressure should never fall below 5 inches water column for natural gas or 11 inches water column for propane. For maximums, natural gas must not exceed an inlet pressure of 10.5 inches water column and propane must not exceed 13 inches water column. Always set pressures according to the appliance's rating plate. Now that the inlet pressure has been tested, shut off the furnace and gas to the appliance and tighten the inlet back up, going a quarter turn past snug. Repeat these steps for the outlet to test the pressures at this location. High and low fire outlet adjustments can be made by removing the brass caps on the valve and tightening or loosening the screws below. Acceptable inlet and outlet pressures can be found on the appliance's rating plate. If a two-stage furnace is being serviced, verify that the pressures for both the low and high fire are correct. These values can be found on the product's rating plate and manual. Once all pressures have been tested and are within an acceptable range, reinstall the service doors and reset the thermostat to its normal operating parameters before leaving it with your customer. Click here to view the Wolf Steel Technical YouTube page. Like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications for new product and troubleshooting videos.